Daddy's called it cool wasp. Yeah, it's like a brachnid wasp or something like that. Can I see? Can I see? I don't think it stings, but I'm not sure. I wouldn't go touching it if I were you, right? Bye, -bye Mr. Goes. Wasp. Art and I are excited today. Why are we excited? We have the best sale that there is, which is right down the street at the Methodist Church. Actually, it's a pre pre sale to the big sale, which is in September. But their pre sales are usually better than their big sale. And there's not a whole lot that we need, but we want to at least look and see if there's anything we shouldn't pass up. Last year we went and we bought absolutely nothing. Didn't we do that two years in a row? Maybe we did, but we are we have so much junk and we decided we don't need junk anymore, so we're not really buying much. But it's fun to go and look anyway. All right, here we go. Well, we just emptied our hands of all the items that we just purchased, and now we're heading back in to look at the books and the kids' clothing and girls' clothing to see if we can find a few things that we need. It's really, really busy here, though. The tool set, the glass. Ooh, look what I found. I wonder if these are used or unused. Those are candlelights. If you need a marble rolling pin, there's one. What? It doesn't have a price. I don't think I need two right now. Pressure cooker pot in there. But I don't think I need one of those. A bunch of copper molds. A bread machine and lots of coffee makers. Lots and lots of coffee makers. Um, that's a room humidifier. Let's see what we can find over here. There we go, everybody. We need a director's chair for all of our vlogs. This is a very cool item. It's a step stool seat that turns into an ironing board. Finally finished up. Art let me go in without um, Mary strapped to my back so I could look through the housewares one more time. And we found one more interesting item and it's a vintage portable um, online or coffee maker kit. It's kind of cool and I was actually thinking of my sister-in-law when I got it because she does all kinds of kitchenwares. So I know if I don't want it I probably can donate it to her and she can get rid of it for me. But that sale is so much fun to go to. I hope you guys had fun watching us find all of our goodies. Well, now you're smiling. She was really grumpy a minute ago. One thing we experienced this sale that we haven't experienced in the past, and that was the rudeness of the people. And I don't know if that's because we never remember to go first thing in the morning, and I actually remembered. But people were really... I don't know if you experienced it, Arpa. Yes, they were rude. They were very rude and pushing and shoving. And um, in fact, in one of the videos, Charity said she got pushed, pushed and cut off right in the middle of a video. And it wasn't like we were stopping. We were just kind of going with the flow of the traffic. So it was that was disappointing. But we did find some really good stuff, and I'm excited about it. Okay, these tree tables we're going to be selling on eBay. I'm not sure the exact price, but they're going to range from 50 to up to 200, depending. I'm thinking probably more of the hundred dollar range. Uh, we got these Lego heads. These will probably be eBay or the garage sale site. This is a brand new Atlas um, pasta machine. And we've had lots of pasta machines in our day. Unfortunately, we sold them all. And I've been wanting to make pasta. So I can actually sell that and make my money back on that if I decide I don't want to do the whole pasta making thing. But I thought it would be fun. This is a home and away coffee maker travel kit. I spent a dollar on this. And... I will probably be able to sell it on eBay for around $25 to $30. Then this is a, again, another eBay item, uh, food stowed away picnic type kit. You put the food in it and it's supposed to stay warm. These tray trays that Peter is holding on to are actually for our um, eating outside because the kids keep using my glass dishes and I'm really, really afraid that something's gonna happen to them. So for a buck, that's, I'm happy with those. The kids can drop them and I don't have to be worrying about my glass dishes. John wanted a baseball. How much was that, John? 25 cents. All right. And Daddy got some really good solder that he can use at work, and this was also 25 cents. The girls got some, we call these bathing suits. They're actually dance outfits, but they work great for bathing suits, and they're a little bit more modest. 
So we actually got two of those. And then we picked up, and were they 25 cents each? I think 50. I, 25 or 50 cents each. I picked up this really nice gap skirt. I'm hoping it fits. It's one size bigger, but it should fit me now. And I thought for the fall would be really lovely. Uh, we picked up a thing of tights. The girls go through tons of tights, and for a quarter, you can't go wrong. We picked up another thing of little baby tights, so that would be for Grace. And I found these canning lids. I quick looked them over, and they are brand new. And I was excited because these are actually the wide mouth ones, which are very expensive. And I paid $1.50 for those. And then lastly, I found two matching shirts. In fact, Charity found the smaller one first, and then I found this one hanging. They're both Land's End, and were they 25 cents or 50 cents each? So um, Mary and Lydia will be having matching shirts this fall. And that... I believe is everything that we got. Oh, the underwear. The underwear was 25 cents a piece and they look like they were never used. But overall, despite the rudeness of the people and the absolute chaos of all the customers buying stuff, we had a good time and now I need to get selling on eBay. And I'll put the link for my eBay store if you want to see and keep an eye on this stuff to see how much it goes for. You can do that and I'll put the link in the, in the description below. All this stuff is $25.75. That's cheap. The kids are using their Lego sorters before we sell them. Please. How do they work? Pretty good. There are the girls with their new bathing suits on. They look nice. Are you going to go swimming today? We might. It's a little cool out right now. But the sun's out. The animal came through and dug a big hole here by the sidewalk. And actually that eggshell that's in the hole now was on the sidewalk. Um, Mary dropped an egg yesterday and it kind of made a gooey mess. So I don't know why the animal dug a hole, but Pete set up this trap and it's really actually very cute. And what did he use for bait to attract it? But some carrot and celery sticks. We're going to eat lunch outside today and we're gonna try out our new plates. I haven't done any full-fledged grocery shopping in almost two weeks, so the pickings are getting pretty thin in our house. For lunch today, I'm digging into the freezer and trying to come up with a creative idea for lunch. Here's what we're making. Charity's cracking some eggs, and what we're gonna do is take some um, turkey slices and line these muffin pan, um, the muffin tins with the turkey slices, and then we're gonna put the eggs and some other goodies inside of it and then bake it all together and don't forget the cheese and we'll we'll make like little egg muffins for our lunch today little mary decided she'd had enough and she needed a partner so she's back on my back there's lots of screaming leading up to this so this seems to have calmed everyone down let's look in the oven see if they're done yet <gasps> Ooh, the ones look done the other ones are not done quite yet Mmm, yum, yum. Just pulled the egg muffins out, and I think they look pretty good. Be a nice change for lunch. Janelle is blogging about her things she just made. It's and twist. it's something that she whipped up herself, so she doesn't even know what to call it exactly. But it looks good. Janelle just came up with a name for them. <laughs> summer Eggs and Summer Harvest. A, a very no, creative I name. I know. No, I got a better name. How about... Mm. Egg, ham, and cheese rolls. No, oh, I like rolls. summer eggs and summer harvest better. I don't like that. We just sat down to start our lunch and we're sitting here and I just opened my mouth and said, isn't it lovely in the, and all of a sudden the wind came through and the canopy lifted up. So we're uh, getting some bungee cords and going to bungee the canopy down before it blows away. Everyone is patiently waiting for our lunch. And here comes John with the bungee cords. Lydia, how did you like Mommy's super summer quiches? It was good. Mommy, how did you like them? They're good. You could put all kinds of different additions in them. Burnt one. Like, now that I'm tasting it, I could put an uh, onion in here. But the kids aren't really big onion fans. I am. Um, you could put green peppers in here or broccoli. There's a lot Can of different additions. Lot, but they're good as they are. There are zero quiche, summer quiche, super summer quiches left. We ate all of them. Did you like the super summer quiches? Janelle is cleaning out our car. The guy's going to come and look at it today and make a down payment on it.
There it is. I almost feel bad to get rid of it. The little trunk holder upper things don't work anymore, so I use a, a mandrel to hold up the lid. So I'm going to have to take, keep that with me. That's not going with the car. I was cutting up our cauliflower and I found a cocoon on it. I believe it's from a cabbage butterfly. It's one of those um, white butterflies with the white wings and the black dots on them. And Lydia wants to take a look at it. What do you think, Lydia? Yeah. You like the little cocoon? Ooh. You think maybe we... No, we probably shouldn't. I think maybe we'll put it in a jar and wait till it turns into a butterfly. I finally made the transition over to cloth diapers with Grace. And when we go out, um, like on Sundays and things, I do use disposables on her piece. I just don't want to be bothered with the cloth diapers. But I did make that transition. It's nice to not be going through the amount of trash. We, like When you have the disposables, you're always your garbage can is always full and you always have to empty it. And with the cloth, all you have to do is do a load of the laundry. Well, the other day in the mail, I received... Um, two of these. They're fuzzy bun cloth diapers and they had contacted me and asked me if I would be willing to try them out on Grace and here's the other one they sent me. And so I'm gonna give the fuzzy buns a shot. I usually use the Grovia brand. That's what I started out with and I've really never um, veered from that at all but I'm game for anything and so fuzzy buns contacted me, sent me these two to try and review and in the next couple of weeks, guys, just watch this video and I'll let you, I'll do a review video. It is July 31st and that means I need to finish this tonight. And the kiddos have come down to help. We have a lot of clear floor space. Kiddos are working hard. We just, this is pretty bad here. We have to do that. Can you guess how many paintbrushes we own? No, I can't. We own 32. You oh, she, are many? you kidding me? No. Get rid of. Uh, we need to get rid of about 20. We have a new grand total of paintbrushes. We now have 33. Ouch. It's looking slightly better. Still not oh, perfect. Do, do you viewers see any more paintbrushes? Our paintbrush total is up to 35. Daddy needs to take a break for a little while. His mind is getting a little frazzled. It's about 9.30, kids are in bed, and I am going to try to get this job done tonight. Here's what's left. We have some junk on the bench that needs to get dealt with. A whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff on the floor. And a few other things laying around. And then a whole bunch of junk on this bench. It is 11.30 and it has become apparent that I'm not going to finish tonight. However, I did get quite a bit done. Uh, there's a pathway here. It's time for me to head to bed.